So let's do a full demonstration of drawing something real quick. Now, first of all, I'm going to turn on, when I'm doing precision drawing like this, a lot of times I want to have a grid that allows me to, to see distances so that I know that I'm putting something equal distance from one way to the other way. To turn on my grid, all I need to do is go up here to View, and I'm going to go down here to Show Grid. The keyboard shortcut for that is Command and then the uh, apostrophe if you're doing it on a Mac, or Option and the apostrophe if you're doing it on a PC. Or Alt, sorry, Alt on a PC. No, I'm sorry, Control on a PC. So, Control, Control and the apostrophe on a Windows computer, Command apostrophe on a Mac, and we get this grid here. So let's just say that I want to do a precision drawing now. I've got my pen tool. I'm going to come right here to the center, and I'm going to just click right there in the grid. I'm going to go up here to this grid line here, and I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to hold Shift so it keeps it at an, a 45-degree angle. Now I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to, and I don't want to work, adjust this back one. I just want to adjust this front one. So I'm going to click on that point, and then I let go, and I click again, and it allows me to just do the front handle and not the back one. Again, let me demonstrate that one more time. I came down here and I click on this intersection and then rather than going to the next click, I come and I click on that point again. And this way it only pulls out the front handle, leaves the back one exactly the way it is because that back one is exactly where I want it to be. Now I'm gonna come down here to this bottom point, click there, come up here to this point there, and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag that up like so. And now I'm going to click on this point again, and it's going to suck in that front handle. It left the back one where it was, but it sucked in the front one because, again, I don't want the front one going up just like I didn't on that side. And now I'm going to come to the top here, hold down Shift, and click and drag across to create those handles. And then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to click into that first spot again to close my shape. Now, maybe I look at this and I decide, well, that's nice, but I would like to have a little more curve down here at the bottom for a little more of a point. So I'm going to go to my Convert Anchor Point tool, and I'm going to pull out these, these handles like so. And now I'm going to go to my Direct Select tool, hold down Option to break that connection, and I'm going to pull up this left handle to wherever I'd like it to be. And I'm using the grid again to remember where I pulled it to so that when I pull the, the right handle, I can pull it to the same point on the other side. And here I've got a heart. Now, this heart is drawn with a level of precision that I really couldn't draw freehand. This is not something I'm going to be drawing with a brush tool. That's the power of the pen tool is it allows me to do these things very, very precise. So let's say that, let's take this one more step. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just rotate this heart. I'm going to hold down shift so it rotates in 45 degree angles. We talked about that in an earlier video. And I'm going to go back to my pen tool. And I'm going to create a point here. And a point here. And a third point up there. Come and close that. And now I want to just do a little work with this. So I'm going to go to my Convert Anchor Point tool. I'm going to drag out those anchor points. And I'm going to go back to my Direct Select tool. And I'm going to just tuck in that back handle. And pull this front one in. Do the same thing with this one tuck in that back handle so I get a nice point on that side and drag this first one in. And now I'm going to overlap these two a bit. And let's go ahead and just fill them both black. And we have an even more complex shape that is made up of the two separate put together. Now, in a later video, we're going to learn about combining uh, separate shapes to, to create one complex shape. But for now, you can see that using this pen tool, I'm able to create nice precision shapes that I wouldn't be able to create freehand. One more thing that I want to talk about with the pen tool is tracing.
A lot of times when you're using the pen tool, it's going to be to trace uh, some sort of another image or drawing that you've put into here. When you're tracing an image or drawing, that is known as what's a template image. Now that's not to be mistaken with a regular template. A lot of times when we're in Word or other programs like that, a template is sort of a, a pre-laid out document that we just put our own information in. A template image is an image that has been placed here specifically for tracing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place an image here uh, in order to trace it. I'm going to go to File and Place. And I've put an image on my desktop specifically for this, this turkey here. Now, since I'm going to use this for tracing, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to embed this. We'll talk about embedding in a later video, but I'm going to embed it like so. And I want this to be a, a layer specifically for tracing. So I'm going to create this as what's called a template layer. Now we're actually going to learn more about layers in Illustrator uh, going forward. So for now I'm just going to do this pretty quickly. I'm going to go over to layers and I'm going to change this one to be a template layer. Don't worry so much about how I'm doing this because we will be going over layers in another video. But for now, so here we have a layer completely set in there for me to trace. You'll notice it made a lighter so I can see what I'm looking at. Now tracing with the pen tool can be very, very easy as long as you remember just to focus on your next point. You don't need to worry about the whole image. If you're thinking about everything you need to do, it can be very, very daunting. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to my pen tool. I'm going to select my stroke color to be a nice bright color so I can see it against the background. So I'll go with pink. And I'm going to change my fill color to be no fill. Again, I don't want white. I want no fill. That way it won't start filling in and covering up my image so I can't see what I'm tracing. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to make my first click and just pull out a little handle for it. And then I'm going to come up here quite a ways and I'm going to pull out another handle. Now. I don't need to worry about, that's totally not what I want, right? But no problem. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm going to come back and I'm just going to adjust these handles. So I'm back here adjusting that one and now it's right where I want it to be. Let go of option, move on to the next one. Let's go to this one right here. So I'm going to make a point right there, drag it out a bit get it kind of where I want it, but not really, but that's okay. I'm going to go to Option, and I'm going to go ahead and adjust that handle. So, again, you don't want to think about the entire thing you're tracing. Just the points you're working on at that time. And if you accidentally click away and end up, oh shoot, I need to, need to go back and, and start again, all you need to do again is come and pick on, click on the last point you made, and you're back working with your pen tool on that shape. So again, tracing with the pen tool it takes a bit of practice, but is definitely a, an extraordinary tool in Illustrator and something that you will use fairly often. In a later video, we'll be talking about bringing in photos and uh, illustrations and, and, and working with them in Illustrator. And this is going to be a, a, a huge benefit and a big technique that you're going to use in order to get these into Illustrator the way you want them. So that's tracing in Illustrator. Obviously I didn't go around the whole shape, but I will save you the time. Uh, our next video will be talking a bit about more with working with color. Thank you very much.